In today's video, we give you the final home gym tour of 2020. Yes, 2020 is almost over. Right after this. Hey everyone, this is Stevie Richards. Welcome back to the home gym and welcome to the final home gym tour of 2020. Yes, we're, we're almost going to make it. We're almost there. 2020 is almost over at the time of this recording. So let's get right into the home gym tour. We, we have lots of great products, lots of stuff I've been using. And these home gym tours also serve as updated reviews on the products and equipment we have here in the home gym. So let's get started. So here we have the newest piece of equipment here in the home gym. This is the Force USA G3. I've already done a full review on this. And obviously if you follow this channel, we will be doing other categorized reviews that have to do with say the Smith machine, the leg press attachment, maybe even something to do with plate loaded versus weight stack comparisons. Uh, so you can have an educated decision when you go to buy this or anything else. My thoughts and feelings, for me, I kind of like bringing the plates back and forth. It, it adds a little bit of a functional workout for me, but I also have a little bit of mixed feelings about coming from the weight stack to the plate loaded. Now, in my opinion, if you were going from, say, the classic my rack or the folding my rack or any power rack, you would be absolutely satisfied with this. I mean, I, I'm absolutely satisfied with it because of the fact that I reviewed this stuff and the experiment that I wanted to do from the weight stacks to the plate loaded. But some people might feel like it's a step back. So that's why I usually point people who want the weight stacks and can't get the bumpers or can't get other equipment to invest in stuff like the G6, G12, or even if you're lucky enough to have the money, the G20 or other ones that have the weight stack functionality. Otherwise, I'm so satisfied with this. I love the Smith machine. I love, love, love the leg press attachment. It's my favorite one. And up here we have the multi-grip chin-up bar. Oh, by the way, you see a little bit of rocking. I don't have a level floor here. And also we have carpet and then we have the gym flooring. So right there, when people have talked about it rocking back and forth a little bit, this is the only time it happens. I haven't, had, I haven't seen anybody else have this issue. It is 100% the fault of my environment. Uh, we have a five to about a three to five degree angle that this floor is on, so it's completely not level. Plus, you introduce carpet, you introduce the flooring, you're not going to have stability. But I haven't had any problem doing heavy leg presses, heavy benching, anything from the power rack, even the cables with heavy plates loaded here. Uh, it's been really, really a lot of fun to use. Now, one thing you want to know too. If you're going from, say, power rack to this or a weight stack, this is a, has a two to one ratio on the cables, meaning that if you load 100 pounds, it's gonna be 50. So that's another consideration if you wanna go for something with a one to one ratio like the G12 or even the G20. It's gonna cost you more money, but you, you don't have to load as many plates. Also the G9, which is a plate loaded version of this, which is also commercial uh, grade, uh, that is a one-to-one -one as well. So it's a whole bunch of different choices. I'm really satisfied with this and for the price, how much money you save and the amount of plates you can buy and other things if they're available, makes this particular piece of equipment, at least in my opinion, a very satisfactory purchase. So we're gonna go over to the corner here. This is another piece of equipment I really didn't think I would like as much as I do. This is a plate-loaded tricep dip machine from Titan Fitness and it's held up extremely well. And the fact that my elbow and my neck and shoulder have a lot of issues, rather than doing body weight dips, this particular machine here has really done just more than I ever expected it to. It feels great, I can lift heavier uh, with dips on this, and it's around 250 bucks, so it's not that bad for the type of machine it is. It's hit or miss with Titan Fitness, so I have a storage rack over here that I'm not totally happy with, but this thing I am. That's one thing to know with Titan Fitness. Uh, you're gonna have inconsistencies with welds and other stuff, uh, and sometimes you get what you pay for it. But in this case, I'm happy with this particular uh, piece of equipment. All right, since we were talking about Titan Fitness, let's talk about the storage rack. I've already covered this. Uh, I'm not too satisfied with the 
build quality or any of the other stuff with this particular storage rack if i had to do it again i would have just went for a rogue model i would have went for something that's more of an official brand with more consistency uh it is serving me it's okay right now and i do have some weights loaded on it but it definitely uh doesn't feel sturdy it doesn't feel anywhere anywhere near the quality of the tricep dip machine so i just wanted to let you know that uh we have force usa bumpers here these are in the pounds uh, we used to have the kilo kilos version but these are in the pounds uh, i'm very satisfied with these as a matter of fact and we also have plates here because this is one video i want to kind of make in regards to plate loaded machines if you're good with bumpers or if you just buy the olympic plates these metal plates down here that we spray painted it's a real interesting debate so i'm not quite sure uh because these plates are thinner the bumpers are thicker, so obviously you're going to fit more of these types of plates down here on a plate-loaded machine than when you get into the thicker 45 and 55-pound uh, bumper plates. So it's pretty interesting. I think I'm going to make that video uh, pretty soon. Also, we have kettlebells down here. These mostly are from Kettlebell Kings. And then on the end, the black one here is the kettle block. Power block and kettle blocks are excellent adjustable dumbbells and in this case a kettlebell i'm so happy with them they're they're really really good uh kettlebell kings are also the standard for kettlebells and i definitely need to add more of that into my functional training so this corner here my wife has done a great job of kind of maximizing the space and uh and quite frankly cleaning up my mess and you can see right here off to the left we have wheels and then we have the barbell in the middle there the silver one is the axle workout bar um, if you want a piece of equipment, and I'm going to go back to the wheels here. If you want a piece of equipment for mobility, even strength, foundational training, anything like that, the axle workout is absolutely excellent. As a matter of fact, I thought about putting together a video of the, the, the equipment that takes up the least amount of space in your gym. Uh, obviously, I, I'm not qualified <laughs> to say that, but there are pieces of equipment here that can literally fit in your trunk on your backseat or your car and i have a four-door cord so not much can fit in there but this is one piece of equipment i would take on the road with me and i have taken on the road with me and has been excellent and i'll add others to that as a matter of fact we're getting ideas of uh dedicated videos as we go along this home gym tour so this is a uh, this is really inspiring now even though i've only used this for a couple days so far i have to say this is one of my favorite uh, workout devices so far. I've used it for core, uh, but I'm going to definitely use it for some cardio and some hybrid training. Uh, if you're familiar, I've done reviews on the Monkey Bars 2, on the Pocket Monkey. Uh, Dave and Dan are just incredible at basically crowdfunding a lot of their products. And because their mission statement, their branding, and especially the equipment is just awesome. So what we have here is the Monkey 360. You can see it has unique grips over here we have the resistance bands we have the all three bundles so we have pretty much everything this is tough and if you just look right here this is called mass core right here this is the lightest one i've been using on the core stuff uh on the core workouts though that i've been following on their app they have an ios app and it's been really great to follow along with that and then using one of the lighter bands uh it's tough and it's definitely something I'm going to do a full review on soon. But I really wanted to feature it in the home gym tour. Because this here goes along with the axle workout as totally portable workout solutions. This, the Pocket Monkey, and the axle workout are three of them. Three of them on a longer list that I'll talk about throughout the gym tour. That definitely qualify. And I can't wait for it to warm up to bring this outside and to be able to use it Uh but the full workout, maybe I'll take it outside in the freezing cold and do it. But I am so impressed just after two days of using this. I'm really, really impressed with the uh, Monkey 360. So here are the two benches I have here in the home gym. On the left is the Force USA light commercial flat bench. And on the right here, we have the FID, meaning flat, incline, and then the cool part is we can take this piece in the back and make it a decline. So it's an FID bench, and it's really definitely a lot of utility in this bench. And people have asked me, which would you go for? And obviously, if you can afford it, and if it's available, 
go with the FID bench. Absolutely nothing wrong with the light commercial flat bench, but if you needed the flat bench in a pinch, the floor is always available, at least last time I checked, to be able to do floor presses with dumbbells as well as a barbell. We have both videos up here on the YouTube channel, and actually sometimes floor presses are preferable. Like I said, if you can, if you can afford it and it's available, always get the FID bench. So next we have the Force USA walkthrough trap bar. There's many different elements on this that are just incredible. You can see even here we have a handle for one-handed farmer carries. We have two handles down here, an upper handle and a lower one. Uh, as a matter of fact, if I just load some weights here, the fact that you can just load weights with it standing up just like that is pretty cool. Let's do the bumpers. Let's get fancy and do the bumpers since the bumpers will keep the trap bar higher. So we'll do a couple quarters here. This here has been a godsend uh, to be able to use this for many different functions, including sometimes shoulder presses. If you load it to your rack, it can actually do that. Let's right here. And then when we bring it here, we can do our deadlifts, walk right into it here. And when we're done with it, you can roll wherever you want. You don't need a deadlift jack. Bring it up like that. And it's definitely built like a tank. Why am I winded already? <laughs> I definitely need to work out a little bit harder, maybe do more cardio. But this thing has, uh, has been a godsend. Most of the equipment here has been great. This here is awesome to not have to just jam a deadlift uh, wedge underneath it and just be able to do my deadlifts or with one hand, bring it up and just remove the weight very safely. So the next piece of equipment we're gonna talk about, we mentioned earlier when we talked about the Force USA G3, and this here is the Force USA Folding Myrac. From an engineering perspective, this thing is amazing. I love it. I had the Classic Myrac, and they improved upon the Classic Myrac by adding the space-saving element to it. But the fact that this can, remember my floor is not quite, level and I can still unfold it pretty quickly. The thing that I put up about the folding my rack is that it can fold and unfold in an Instagram story. So about 15 seconds or so, if you have a level floor, <laughs> which we don't, we still got it 15 to 20 seconds. So this thing has served me very well all around and I've enjoyed using this. And I think this is an excellent value for the money. If you have the space, you can go with the classic Myrac, but if you especially don't have the space, like I was talking about the Monkey 360, the Axle Workout, if you wanted an all-in-one fitness solution as far as power rack and to add some attachments, because most of the attachments from the classic Myrac are compatible with the folding. Uh, the lat pull-down row isn't because obviously it's designed differently than the classic Myrac, but mostly every attachment as of now, is compatible with the folding Myrac. This is an excellent purchase. The weighted plate holders here are really excellent to be able to hold it down. And if you're not gonna bolt it, you're gonna need to have plates to do this. Because without this, it's pretty light. So that's why I put a bunch of pump bumper plates on here to keep it weighed down, much like the G3 or other ones that don't have weight stacks. You're gonna need something. If you're not gonna bolt it down, we're not gonna bolt it down in an apartment. So. This here, I can't say enough good things about. The classic Myrac is awesome. The folding Myrac, in my opinion, is even more awesomer. That's not a word, that's okay. So here we have the Power Block Pro Series. This is the Pro EXP Stage 1, 2, and 3. So basically from five pounds all the way up to 90, I also have the official Power Block stand with this. These are awesome. I've been a Power Block customer for probably almost 15 years and I've had all their different sport models. I had the previous uh, Pro models, and now I have the Pro EXP. I have to say, if you're gonna get adjustable dumbbells, and once again, space saving. It's right next to the folding my rack, so the space saving element, the space saving theme, runs all along this wall. Also, along with the axle workout, the Monkey 360, you can take these dumbbells with you on the road. If, you, if you're in a hotel room, you wanna go outside. If you have very little space, these are the adjustable dumbbells, at least the ones I used to date that I suggest that you buy. So here we have the Force USA Compact Leg Press, and it's definitely compact. This does not take up a whole lot of room. 
As a matter of fact, we couldn't even fit the tripod over here, so we're hand-holding uh, the camera. But this has been an excellent piece of equipment. Uh, we can load uh, much more weight than what we have on right now. Also, it comes with a calf raise attachment. You can see it right underneath uh, the barbell sleeve or the, uh, the weight sleeve right there. Also, you can adjust that plate right there to whatever uh, angle that you want to have it on. My wife and I picked two different angles. Also, band pegs. You can put bands on here for variable resistance. And this is definitely, if you can't afford nor have the space or both, with the hack squat leg press combo that Force USA has, this is the one to get. This is really, really awesome. I'm really torn too because I want to do a comparison between this and the vertical leg press, which I prefer. Because if you have the G3, if you have the G6, the G9, the G12, G20, you can do vertical leg presses. So this might not, this thousand dollars, or it's around a thousand right now. Of course, use the code Stevie5 to check out to save. This right here. If you were to get put that thousand dollars into, say, a G12 or a G20, uh, you could do vertical leg presses. So keep that in mind with that. If you had a G3, you would have to invest for the attachment, but you still might feel like that you're ahead of the game. This here, though, if you want to have a compact leg press as opposed to a hack squat leg press combo, this is the one to get. So this right here is probably my favorite piece of cardio that I have ever used. No matter what brand it is, no matter what kind of cardio, and we also have an elliptical next to this, and I really do like that. But this Diamondback Fitness 1260 SC Studio Cycle is a commercial grade spin bike. It's built like a tank, and I've been termed or labeled as a violent user for cardio equipment, and this is held up, although it's dusty and I need to clean it off, this is held up the same as the day I assembled it. If you're going to buy one piece of cardio equipment, and especially if you like spin classes, even if you want to do Peloton, which basically you can get the app on your iPad, don't waste your money on those bikes, buy this one, and it's just, I can't say enough good things about this. This bike has held up so well to my abuse, violent user, remember that, uh, that I can't recommend it enough out of any cardio. So we're going to go to the next piece. I recommend that one if you want nothing to do with a spin bike, but if you want any kind of quality cardio on a piece of equipment, the 1260 SC is the one to get. So here we are in the master bedroom. We have an infrared sauna in here. Yes, the home gym is extending all the time. This is the Sunstream of aisle 15. We have it hooked up to a regular outlet. So this is about the biggest one, at least with the Sunstream models, that you can plug into a regular uh, amp outlet. We have no problems with electricity. It only cost us maybe, if I use it a lot, maybe an extra $20, maybe $30 a month comparing to go to an actual sauna place, which might not even be open with the current times. And this has been a godsend. It's really helped uh, just with everything. Infrared sauna benefits, you can, you can Google or look it up to see how many benefits there are, and especially 2020 moving forward. Uh, you want to have every advantage you can with your immune system, with uh, building up your immune system and also staying strong, staying healthy, and of course, health, wellness, longevity, infrared sauna is connected to all that stuff. So here is one of the newer additions to the home gym, something I've wanted for a very long time, and that is a gym timer. Uh, this thing is pretty cool. I wish I could put it a little bit higher, but uh, the plug's down here, so this is the best place to put it. It's placed pretty good. There's a couple wires. It's kind of unsightly, so we just kind of go and kind of go with what we have here. Uh, and this is really cool to be able to use this for stopwatch stuff. It comes with a remote right here, so you can do that. And if you follow me on Instagram, you can see that I've uh, there we go, we got that. We can start, got a countdown, got all sorts of cool stuff. But if you saw on Instagram, I usually take a picture of a clock when I get up to work out early in the morning. This is going to be very useful for HIIT training, Tabata, other stuff like that. Uh, I really do like this gym timer because it's bigger. There's smaller ones that I didn't like. This is a larger studio version. I'll put a link to the description of this as well as all the other stuff with the affiliate codes and links as well. Uh, but I like it. There, it even has sound. I don't know if my wife would like that at uh, 3 a.m., but pretty cool. Pretty cool. It has a countdown, stopwatch, has uh, Tabata intervals, all that stuff. There you go. Right there. So rest time, I guess. I don't know, I'm still trying to figure it out. Let's turn it off. 
That's it. Cool. Gym timer. I'm like a gym owner. So that is about it for the final home gym tour of 2020. My voice is starting to go, but we did leave a few things out because I want to do dedicated updated reviews on those pieces of equipment and also the themed videos like plate loaded versus weight stacks, bumpers versus plates. Got a few ideas for videos in 2021, but we'll also be doing more home gym tours. We got more gym equipment coming. Like I said, shh, don't tell my wife. Uh, so we're going to add those into the updated gym tours, which will serve as well as updated reviews for those products. So please, 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 if you can, if you decide to buy anything here, check the links and codes in the description below, forceusa.com, Diamondback Fitness, Power Block, Axle Workout, Monkey 360, Pocket Monkey. We have affiliate codes and links for all that stuff. Please use those to help support the content and also helps us uh, pretty much fill up the home gym. So we have to buy something else to move into. So I really do appreciate it. I'm so blessed. 2020 has been a trying year for everybody out there. My prayers and my thoughts go out to each and every one of you that you have an amazing 2021. God bless each and every one of you. Have a great day.